Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Hadley Park. I'm here with Kirsty today because she wants to learn how to do drop-offs. So, not had a lot of luck doing them no. over the months, have you? No, and I just gave up doing them because I just couldn't get it. So, we've come over to, to the skills area. They've got a drop-off training area. But one of the things that's always thrown you off is the uh, the gravelly turn straight after, is it, hasn't it? Yeah. So, what we're going to do first, I think, is get you used to going down and around that corner yeah. and as quickly as we can and eliminate that fear. I don't know if it's because I'm riding more, but that looks less scary. Yeah, it probably is because you're riding more. So, so we'll get we'll get past that. When that's no longer an issue, then we'll concentrate on doing the drop off yeah. before it. And it won't even be in your mind anymore and you can just concentrate on what you need to do. Yeah. All right, sound like a plan? Let's do it. Let's do it. Happy with that? Skills. Skills. How does that feel? That feels alright. Yeah? Yeah, my confidence is definitely growing. You definitely seem like you're going down there a lot faster than you would have done normally. Oh, definitely. Normally I just hit that first one as well. Yeah. Okay, what I want you to do is go back, do the same thing again, yeah. but roll over the bank now like you're going to abort. All right, because what I don't want you to be is nervous in case it starts to go wrong. I want you to have a backup plan. All right, that you're not going to have to think about. So roll it, roll it slow, then build up your speed. Do it a few, few times a bit faster, and then we're going to worry about the drop off. Okay. All right, yeah. do it. Feel all right? Good. Don't do it again. Nice. Out and everything. <laughs> really controlled. Go up again. Do it one more time. A bit faster. Yep. All right. And then we're going to have a go if you feel all right. Yep. All right. Nice one. That was much faster that time. Yeah. You happy with that or do you want to do one more? No, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Right. So what are you going to do? Off. You're gonna drop off. Let exactly. Me go and do what I think. That's what exactly what I was gonna ask you to do, because it's better for me to see how you do it first, and then advise you based on that, rather than try and tell you how to do it. Then you're not doing it naturally. Yeah. Yeah. So go for the little one. Yeah. All right. And then we'll have a look at the footage, yeah. and we'll, we'll discuss what you need to do. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Have fun. Just wait for dogs. dogs don't like me. <laughs> Dogs love you. Dogs love me, don't like the bikes. They don't like bikes. <laughs> they do anything. Right, so we just looked at the footage. Um, what do you think you're doing wrong? Everything. No, come on. Honestly, I don't think I'm pushing the bike away enough. I'm not getting my weight back enough. Right, so. Going speed as well, I don't know. You need to overemphasize. Your first one was better, all right. Uh, you compressed down more and then and pushed back further. Uh, push back further. When I say push back, you push the bike forward. Yeah. All right, um, which is good, all right. And then the second and third one, you've done it less. Well, what I want you to do is really push down on them front forks, then push, push back, back, right? And you want to push down just before you get there, and then you want to push back just as the front wheel's leaving. And what that's going to do is lighten the front wheel, yeah. all right? And I really want you to overemphasize it. Shall I practice here? No, I think you'd be absolutely fine to just do it on there, all right? 
and then um, you you'll be fine. Um, you, you should be you should feel like the front wheel is getting lighter and staying up in the air for longer. Mm. All right. No, it's definitely not. No, not in a minute. It's not. You're kind of just riding down at the minute, yeah. but um, it's only because of technique. That's all. The speed's good. Keep that speed. Yeah. If you're comfortable with it. Yeah. All right. Don't worry so much about what rock you're going on as well. I know you went um, middle, middle, and then left. Stay with what feels natural, I think. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Let's do it. All right. Go and do it. Yeah. Oh, that was so close. Go again. What? Yeah, that wasn't nice. That's good. Come and have a look at the camera and we'll see where you can improve. Right, so we've played back the footage and I think it's your timing. Yeah, um, and speed. Yeah, and speed. Yeah. So um, you've just asked me to go and show you. So we're going to record me doing it. Yeah. Then we'll play back the footage and uh, I'll do it a couple of times just to be sure. Yeah. Then we'll play back the footage and you can watch when I pop and how much I pop. Yeah. And that give you a bit of a reference, yeah? Right, let's do that. that sounds good. We've watched back my footage yeah. and it turns out I can press a lot earlier. A lot earlier. But I pop later. Yeah. Yeah. But mine is very subtle. Yeah. Um, mine's a very quick movement, I think. And you need to think of it as lifting your front wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like a manual. Yeah. Which right. I can't do. No. So here we go. I, I can't do either, but it's a very, very small manual, basically. All right. You just need to keep that wheel up long enough to get the back wheel off and then they will fall at the same time. And if you do it well enough, the back wheel will come down first. Yeah. All right. Which is too much, but it's always safer than going front wheel first normally. Would you creep enough screen then? <laughs> yeah. So I can't talk to you and do that. And because uh, it's weird if I'm talking to you and I'm looking at the camera. So, yeah. Let's try it again. All right. Go and do it. Um, so, yeah. Try to... Don't overthink it. I want you to try and lift your front wheel as you come off off the uh, the rock, all right? Yeah. And then see how that goes. Yeah. All right, cool. That felt sick. <laughs> How's that feeling? I felt good. Yeah? Was I doing it right? Oh, we're well, going to have a look at the footage and see. I have no idea. Does it feel comfortable, what yeah. you're doing? Yeah? yeah? I think they were better. They sounded better. And you definitely looked more confident going over it. Yeah. All right? It, it didn't look awkward. Um, but we need to look at the footage. You were definitely landing front wheel first. But because I was concentrating on the camera, I, I can't critique you. So we, we'll see. So looking at that, I think your technique's right now. Yeah. Um, you just need to throw it forward more yeah all right so have a practice of just throwing forward and really emphasize it push forward with your hands and your legs don't forget to push the pedals forward okay. all right yeah. and then um see how that feels if it feels all right here then do it on the way down there yeah yeah all right let's try it let me turn around see how the front wheel pops when you do it that's exactly what you want going down That is the best one yet. He was nearly there then. Do exactly that again, but overemphasize it even more. Oh my God, that's so close.
Have a little rest. You're getting that? Can you feel that it's it's coming together now? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. It's definitely coming together. You've got the technique now. All right, you just need to really practice it and emphasize it. Yeah. All right. And you will get that. You're gonna you're gonna drop off today. You will do it today before we go. Yeah. All right. Sit down. It's awesome. So I've just watched that back. Yeah. Was you checking yourself out? <laughs> no. I'm so putting that no. in. I was, I was very hunched over, so I was straightening. Oh, right, okay. Checking posture. That's what it is, yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right, so we just watch that back. They are the best you've done so far. That is the right technique. Yeah. You just need to emphasise it more. Yeah. Keep practising it. And like I said to you, had you have done it with a little bit more speed on them, yeah. you would have completed a drop-off. All right. Yeah. But the trick is to not have to have the speed. You should yeah. be able to do it at any speed. So the technique will come. Yeah, but um, you will get there. Like the, you are there. You've got the technique now. You just need to perfect it, get it right, emphasize it a bit more. Yeah. All right. But it's starting to feel right now. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So you feel like you you can actually tell when you're doing it right now, can't you? Yes. That's that was the key we needed. Because it feels comfortable. Because that was what we were struggling with before. You didn't feel like you was doing it right. And we wasn't really understanding what you needed to do, right? Yeah. So, so at least... Speed and be a drama queen, basically. Be a drama queen, yeah. Basically overemphasise everything. Okay. Which you do quite well normally. Yeah. <laughs> that looked the nuts. No, last one was better. You too tired? You want to rest? I'm pretty sure, not the last one, but the one before that, you was like literally a millisecond on the front wheel faster than the than the back wheel, which is a drop off. Yeah. Yeah? Not perfect, but yeah. It, it is a drop off and that would have got you out of trouble on anything. Even, even if you'd done them big ones over there, that would have been perfect for that. So I'll show you. That was perfect. It was literally both wheels at the same time. Yeah. It perfect. Felt good. It felt really good. Yeah. Um, what it is, is your, your front end did come down very slightly. Yeah. All right. And you did come down on a downslope, but because you landed on a downslope, yeah. both your wheels landed perfectly. That is a perfect drop off for that lander. All right. You've nailed it. Look there. Thanks. You've just got to keep doing it now. All right. And what you need to be able to do is do that three times in a row. Yes. Perfectly. Yeah. No mistakes. That's my problem. I'm getting tired. Yeah. So we're going to have a little rest. All right. Chill out. Come back to it. But when you can do these three times in a row, perfect, you're ready to move on to the big ones. Are you going to show us that? <laughs> I might show you it. All right. Let's go and have a look. It's coming in hot. So we've come to the cab for a bit of a rest um, because you're uh, crying low on energy, aren't you? Need chips. So chips and a drink. I've got a latte, and uh, we're going to go back. I reckon you're going to have this. So when you've um, got a bit more energy, mm -hmm. you just need to work on that technique. You felt the right technique now. Yeah. All right. So you'll know yourself now when you go off of something. If it doesn't feel right, I wrong? won't need to tell you. Yeah. yeah you're just going to know straight away. Yeah, I know it already. Yeah, so um, yeah, we'll rest up for a little bit and we'll go back, shall we? Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys over there. That sounded spot on. Well done, you. So, first one back from the coffee and smashed you've it. smashed it straight away, but now you've got to fine tune it because. Yeah. Get sloppy after a while. It, You're getting sloppy. It's only about timing, Kirsty. Your technique is perfect. Yeah. It's about getting the, the release time right. Yeah. Yeah. This is Ray, by the way, guys. Hi. You'll see him down at Hadley Park. Yeah, spot on. Absolutely spot on. Yeah, um, but you just need to. Uh, I do good one or once or twice, and then I get sloppy. Yeah. So you just need to keep practicing and then when you're doing it 100% of the time yeah. that's when you can move on yeah. all right 
but it's no different to what you're doing now for any drop off, even the big ones that I've been doing. The fact that I've had a break, yeah. come back and done it, it's, it's in there. It's an energy thing. Yeah. You've got the technique, you just need the energy. Yeah. I think you're too tired now. So how do you feel you're doing? Better, loads better. Yeah. Than I thought I'd be. As yeah. well. You're actually doing it now, right? Yeah. And you need to draw the line now. Yeah. Because as you've just said, you're getting tired. Yeah. Your legs aren't holding you now. Yeah. All right. And you just need to keep practicing it every time you go out now. Yeah. All right. The stronger my legs get, the more I'll be able to do it. Now that you've got the technique, that's it. Yeah. You're not going to forget it. All right. You just need to do it. And that's it, you, you've actually conquered drop-offs now. Yes, look at there. What an absolute legend. Yeah. Sick. I think we should call it a day then, since you're so. tired. Yeah. yeah? I think so. All right, well done. You've done absolutely brilliantly now. And we just need to get out and do it more. Definitely. So, yeah. All right, I'll let you end it then. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up. Maybe subscribe. See you next time.